Hola, soy Alejandro. Bienvenidos a Kiss Spanish. And this is the last lesson of both Unit 3 and this course for beginners that we have been offering here on YouTube. And we are going to see an interaction in a shop. In the previous lesson, we went through the final project of the unit, deciding what gifts to buy for our loved ones. John wanted to get some gifts for his mom, his niece, his brother, and his dad. And now it's time to go get those gifts, right? John and Sergio are in Merida, and they find this place, the shopping dark, where they have lots of souvenirs. So they say, okay, this is the perfect time for us to go get the gifts. Unfortunately, John and Sergio are not available for the video recording. They were a bit busy, but we have two fantastic people to went through this situation for us. You are going to meet two girls, the person who is buying uh, the gifts and the shop assistant at the store. And in this video, I want you to understand enough to answer these four questions on a true or false statement, okay? So we have, la chica compra un libro para su madre. Is this true or false? En la tienda no tienen la talla de su padre. Is this true or false? La chica compra la taza más barata. Y el despertador del Barcelona tiene descuento. As a side note, this is something that is very good for you to do when you are learning a language. When you are going to listen to something for a video or whatever, it's good to frame the listening with some specific goal, with some pieces of information you are aiming to understand. Especially when you are a beginner, you should not be expected to understand everything you are hearing, and you don't want to listen to something that's very dumbed down and unnatural. So it's best to have a very specific goal for an audio or video that goes at a natural pace. And that's why we are presenting you with the sentences beforehand. Make sure to pause the video, read them, write them down, whatever you need. And when you are watching the video, try to gather if these are true or false. And also keep in mind that this interaction, this video, puts everything you have been learning throughout the unit together. This vocabulary to get around shopping, vocabulary around clothes, colors, talking about prices, and also the numbers from 11 to 100 that you have learned in previous lessons. So you should understand some of it because that's what you have been covering throughout this unit. And now let's have a look at the video. Hola, buenos días. Hola, buenos días. Quería comprar regalos para mi familia. Aquí tenemos todo tipo de recuerdos. Acompáñame. Vale. Tenemos todos estos libros sobre Extremadura. ¿Cuál prefieres? Quiero ver el de Mérida. A ver. Es muy bonito. Tiene muchas fotos, me gusta. Sí, es muy bonito el de Mérida. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Todos cuestan 15 euros, pero si te llevas dos libros, cada uno... Son 12 euros solamente. Pues entonces me llevo este y este. Perfecto, muy bien. ¿Tienes camisetas en talla L para hombre? Sí, todas estas son de talla L. ¿Esta la tienes en otro color? Por supuesto, esta la tengo en azul también. Vale, pues me la llevo en azul. Es el color favorito de mi padre. Perfecto. ¿Cuál es el precio? El precio son 12 euros todas. Vale, pues me la llevo. Genial. ¿Todas estas tazas cuestan 5 euros? Estas tazas de aquí cuestan 5 euros. Luego, todas estas cuestan 3 euros 50. Mm. Creo que me gustan más las caras. Son mucho más bonitas, ¿no? Sí, son de mejor calidad. Pero no sé qué diseño elegir para mi hermano. ¿Qué me recomienda? ¿Qué edad tiene tu hermano? 35. Para tu hermano yo creo que es perfecta esta negra. Las otras son más infantiles. El diseño es más infantil. Me gusta. Me la llevo. También necesito un regalo para una niña, mi sobrina. Ella juega al fútbol. 
¿Tienes alguna camiseta o algo? ¿De qué equipo es tu sobrina? Del Barcelona. Tengo tres despertadores de equipos de fútbol. El de Atlético de Madrid, Real Madrid y Barcelona. Este sería perfecto para tu sobrina. ¿Y cuánto cuesta? Cuestan 20 euros. Uf, un poco caro, ¿no? Sí, puedo hacer un descuento al 20%. Entonces son 16 euros. Genial, pues me lo llevo. Perfecto. Los libros son 24 euros, la taza cuesta 5 euros, el despertador 16 y la camiseta 12 euros. En total son 57 euros. ¿Vas a pagar en efectivo o con tarjeta? Con tarjeta, mejor. Vale, con tarjeta entonces... Perfecto. Vale. Esto es para ti. Vale, gracias. Y esto es para ti. Genial. Pues muchísimas gracias por tu ayuda. A ti, buen día. How was the video? I hope you were able to follow along with the subtitles. Unfortunately, they had to wear masks at the time of the recording, which makes things a bit more difficult. But I'm sure you did okay. And if you are enjoying these lessons and this video, please give it a like. It's gratis. It's free. And now let's take a look at the initial true and false statements. La chica compra un libro para su madre. Is this true or false? A girl buys a book for her mom. Well, think about it, it's tricky because she actually gets two books, not one. No, un libro, dos libros para su madre. En la tienda no tienen la talla de su padre. In the store they don't have her father's size. True or false? Also false. She actually can get a t-shirt for him without any issues. And in blue, his, uh, his favorite color. Now, la chica compra la taza más barata. The girl gets the cheapest cup. True or false? Mm, this is false. Uh, she actually gets the more expensive ones. Uh, or the more expensive. And lastly, el despertador del Barcelona tiene descuento. The alarm clock for Football Club Barcelona as a discount is on sale. Well, this is actually true. It's a 20% discount. 20% de descuento. Instead of 20, it costs 60. I hope you have seen how we used all of the vocabulary you have learned throughout the unit in this video. And this is aimed to provide you with an example, with a model to, well, follow when you want to practice interacting in a shop, asking for prices, different sizes, colors, talking about discounts, expressing your preference, then how to pay with cash or card, con tarjeta, or in efectivo. If you haven't watched a previous video where we go through the final project, remember that I offered to the first three to complete that project the chance of having a lesson with me together to practice this interaction, right? because it's, this is hard for you to do by yourself in a recording like we did in previous lessons throughout the course and you need someone else to practice. So I'm looking for three students to get together, the four of us, and practice together that interaction, provide them feedback. So you can check the previous lesson if three students have not already done that and if they have already done it, that's okay, you can also do the final project. But I'm offering that option for those more proactive students that follow our principle of not being lazy, no seas vago, and actually use what you are learning. And with this, we come to an end of our course for beginners here on YouTube for these three units where we have learned how to give and ask personal information to introduce ourselves to another students, to share what we do to learn Spanish, why we're learning Spanish in unit two, we learn to describe people, vocabulary around family members, describing both appearance and personality. We have learned in this unit three everything around shopping, clothes, places to buy things. And we work through lots of grammar too. The present tense, both regular and some irregular forms, the demonstratives, the, the articles, the possessives. So lots of things we have covered that we hope you have enjoyed. The contents of these videos we have been 
sharing on YouTube for the last few months are taken from our complete learning experience, our complete online course for beginners, Spanish Accelerator. There we have nine complete units and the videos are just a small part of it. We also offer reinforcement and interactive activities to check what you are learning, flashcards, there is a community, summary sheets, the final projects, you get feedback on all of them. We have weekly calls and much, much, much more. If you have enjoyed these lessons on YouTube and would like to know more about the full program, I will leave a link in the description to the page where we explain exactly what it has, who is it for. You can see some of our students sharing their experiences and as well as in great detail all of the components of the course and the methodology and many, many, many more things. You can also see the full curriculum of the other units as well as some frequently asked questions where most of your doubts will be solved. And if not, just send a message to our team and we will get back to you. Even if you are not interested in this, of course, here in Key Spanish on our YouTube channel, we will be publishing more videos, not as part of a course, of a playlist, not as organized, but we'll be sharing much, well, much more videos around grammar, pronunciation, culture, and many, many, many other things. I hope you have enjoyed this experience together for the course for beginners we have been offering. If so, please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on the future content we will be sharing. Soy Alejandro de Key Spanish y nos vemos en clase. Thank you.